think if uh, Crazy Things is going to come and you know, take what I've worked hard for, I love this thing. This thing's uh, is cherished by me, worked long and hard to, to attain that. And, you know, Briggs is going to be met with, with, with cold hostility come 21st, you know, uh, when the bell goes. Paul's a guy that I have a lot of respect for as a, as a bloke and as a fighter. You know, we've, we've known each other for a long time, but he's a very similar person to myself. In as far as he doesn't need to be told to fight or when the bell goes, he's not going to be to, uh, to, to to push in there and, and you know, told to, to give all his guys he's going to do that naturally. Like myself, we, we both uh, have a, a warrior mentality once the bell goes. Briggs has had some, some amazing fights and twice unsuccessful for the way all the time against Thomas Adamek, who's now a three-time world champ, or soon to be a three-time world champ, in three different weight divisions. Uh, and he proved his, you know, his, I guess his, um, his warrior status there in, in a massive way. Um, it was sort of uh, the general consensus that he could have sold tickets to those final sessions. So, um, this just proves the, the, the type of fighter that Danny is also, you know, and the fact that, um, I'm going to be a dangerous fighter to the day I die. I'll be 80 years old, so we have not blows, blows out. So I'm a natural puncher. And so for Danny to, to um, and he knows the type of fighter I am, for him to, to um, he's got everything to lose in this. And, and if he beats me, then hey, you're just not going to lose Jones. So if he should be. very competitive, and like Reese said, you could have told Peter too. There's a lot of people there that uh, I wish we were in there because we could have chosen to come and bust the door. And back then, we weren't making a lot of money from the sport, so it would have been nice to have Look, that was a fantastic session, but that was a fun session. And that's history, it's a long time ago. And uh, we've both gone a long way since then. I was a club and Bruce was making his way up in the sport in a different way. I was on the low, and that's why we kind of we didn't meet. And then, then when Briggs had a break, I was moved up the point and then won the world title, and, uh, and then I had a break as well from the sport. So it just turns out now that it's a lot of time. I believe in, in my ability, and I believe that speaks for itself. I'm not going to stand here and throw chairs across the room and, and call Danny all sorts of names all the rest of The type of blokes we are, the, we don't need to do that. The, the fight that, that this is going to be is going to speak for itself and it's going to be what it is. It doesn't need any extra added um, bullshit that comes with it to make it anything. But if you throw a chair at me, I'll throw one back. <laughs> I'll throw two back. In fact, I'll throw the table at you. <laughs> So you're coming with the kitchen sink.